It's an exciting time right now at Calvin because new leaders have, have challenged us, but also inspired us. There's a real focus right now on not only understanding where we are, but on what's gonna happen in the future. Not just holding on to the past and what worked for us, but looking at what else is God calling us to? What's that next mountain that God is bringing us to and who's gonna go with us to conquer that hill? Calvin's a place that's about thriving and flourishing. And it's about the thriving and flourishing of students so that they're well prepared to go and, and create that thriving and flourishing in whatever kind of work that they do, they carry forth the responsibility to create the conditions for the thriving and flourishing of other people. Every single year, around a thousand students leave this place after being influenced and shaped by the thought of renewing this world, to making this world a better place, because we believe in the work of um, God that's happening in this place. Calvin College is a place where people care about people, where people value your character and your values over any other achievement. And when students are at the heart of education, how can it go wrong? Because students recognize and acknowledge the heart that faculty have for us. Calvin College exists to educate students. That's our central principal purpose. I think we do it rather well. Our scholarly pursuits as professional uh, researchers and, and writers, those are also uh, in large part intended to help students see how that is done. We're models. You might think of it as the master and apprentice model. Our graduates make a huge difference in the world. They climb the ladders of business and education and science and nonprofits and law and medicine and politics and all kinds of fields. They carry Calvin's mission out into the world. There's a lot of people who do diversity work, but not a lot of people who are able to do diversity work within a Christian context. And so to be able to work at a place that affirms that this world belongs to God, to be able to work in a place that values um, all the diversity that is within the kingdom of God, and to take a position to say that all of this is good, even the hard questions, even the messy questions, even those places where we don't have answers, that's all part of doing this kingdom work, and that is exciting in facilities and maintenance and construction, we get to have our hands in this place with the sole mission of creating somewhere that young people can learn, can grow in their faith. We're trying to configure our community in a way that allows everyone's gifts to flourish. We're trying to serve the Lord Jesus Christ through our work and we pray that He will use us as agents of renewal in what we do and pick us up when we stumble in that endeavor. We're at a perfect point. We've developed a plan. We have stabilized and improved the finances. We've set such a firm foundation that allows us to really look at some of these things going forward. I have a lot of optimism about our capacity to continuously improve. I, I feel that the strategic plan that we've just adopted puts us in a wonderful position to systematically go about that work. What I hear faculty say is that a learned Calvin graduate is intensely curious and fearless about understanding and seeks understanding with the knowledge that God goes with him or her. We want to make sure that we're bolstering that and that the curriculum that we wrap around that enhances those attributes and characteristics. Calvin College equips students to think deeply, to act justly, and to live wholeheartedly as Christ's agents of renewal in the world. <laughs>